All right, welcome back. Now, here we're going to start with some more definitions. And so the first definition we're going to talk about is path. Okay, a path is a sequence of vertices using the edges. Usually we are interested in a path between two vertices. For example, a path from vertex A to vertex M is shown below. It is one of many possible um, paths in the graph, right? So here they show the path from A to M, right? As going from to B, F, G, H, and M, okay? We often denote a path as a sequence of adjacent vertices. For example, the path shown here, we would write it as A, B, F, G, H, M. So A, B, F, G, H, M, okay? Um, now, the, a circuit is slightly different. A circuit is a path that begins and ends at the same vertex, right? So with a path, it, it, the uh, beginning and ending vertices are not the same. Um, in a circuit, they are. So it's a path that begins and ends with the same vertex. A circuit starting and ending with vertex A is shown, above, uh, shown below. Okay, so here we go. A, B, F, G, L, K, J, and the, uh, E, A. And the way we would uh, denote that is exactly that, just using the sequence of vertices beginning and ending with A. So in this case, we would say a, one, one way of, of um, naming this uh, circuit would be A, B, F, G, L, K, J, E, A. All right, connected. So when we use the word connected, what we mean is a graph is um, a graph is connected if there is a path from any vertex to any other vertex in the graph. Every graph shown so far is a connected graph. Okay. So the below. Um, if it's not connected, if a graph is not connected, then it's disconnected, okay? So if you can go from any vertex in a graph to any other vertex in a graph, okay, along a path, then it's connected, okay? If you can't, then it's disconnected. So for example, uh, this, this down here, this is an example of a disconnected graph because I can't go to this one, right? I can't go to this vertex from, let's say, this vertex or this vertex or any of these vertex. So we would say that this is disconnected. Also, we want to talk about weighted graphs. Weighted graph, depending upon the problem being solved, um, sometimes there are weights assigned to the edges, okay? The weights could represent, for example, distance between two locations. It could represent travel time. It could also represent cost. Okay. It is important to note that the distance between vertices in a graph does not necessarily correspond to the weight of an edge. Okay. And there was something else. Oh, here. Oh, we did talk about that. Uh, okay, let's move on. So let's do this triad, okay? So in this triad, let's answer these questions, okay? It says the graph below shows five cities. The weights on the edges represent the airfare that it costs for a one-way flight between the cities. A says, how many vertices and edges does the graph have. Okay, so that's easy. We just count the vertices. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, those are the vertices. Okay, now how many edges are there? Okay, well, we've got one here, two, three, 
four, right? So it's the edges that connect each one of these four, right? So there's one, two, three, four, right? And then there's this edge, five. And then there's this edge, six. And then there's this edge, seven, eight, nine, and then I think that's it. So we got one, two, three, four. Oh, we forgot this one. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So there are ten. So five vertices, ten edges. Okay, now what about uh, B? Is the graph connected? Yes, this graph is connected. You can obviously see that you can go from any vertex to any other vertex in the graph along the edges. Um, C, what, it, what is the degree of the vertex representing LA? Okay. Well, we look at the LA vertex right here, and so here's the vertex right here. And so how many edges are connected to that vertex? I count four. So the degree is four for that vertex. D, if you fly from Seattle to Dallas to Atlanta, is that a path or a circuit. So if we go from Seattle, so we're going to go from Seattle, and then we're going to go to Dallas, which is right here. And then we're going to go to Atlanta. And that is what? That's not a circuit because remember, a circuit begins and starts with the same vertex. So this would be a path. Now, what about E? It says if we fly from LA to Chicago to Dallas and then back to LA. Well, in that case, that would be a circuit. Okay. All right, not bad. All right, so that's where we'll stop. So that finishes up 1.1. Uh, and uh, when we come back, we will start 1.2 uh, on Euler circuits and the Chinese Postman problem. Talk to you later.